the liberal state of California is one step closer to becoming a, quote, sanctuary state, a move that clearly goes against President Trump's vow to keep Americans safe. President Trump's immigration order is meant to keep criminal illegals out of this country, to restore law and order and have a country with actual borders. But for some odd reason, the state of California thinks entirely otherwise. And the state Senate has just approved a bill that will make it harder for immigration officials to do their jobs. Joining me right now, President of Citizens United and a Fox News contributor, David Bossi. Good to see you, David. Thanks you know, if me. I'm a California taxpayer, I'm paying a lot of taxes, number one. <laughs> another discussion <laughs> for another enormous, day. Enormous, that's enormous right. amounts of taxes. And California is not so interested in protecting me. They seem to be more interested in protecting illegals and a political philosophy. What's going on? Well, look, this is the reason that, you know, President Trump and, and Attorney General Sessions have said actions are going to have consequences now uh, in this day and age of the Trump administration. If you defy them, they're going to hold back federal funds from the state of California if they end up doing this. And I think that's what it should be. Look, we can't allow uh, illegals who are being deported over and over again. Uh, to, to be able to stay in this country. You look at what happened to poor oh, Kate it's Steinle. It's wild. I mean, you used the Kate the, Steinle example, but, you know, yeah. I was looking through a, an ICE detainer sheet just the other day, and they looked at nearly 200 people that had been detained uh, over a one-week period all throughout the country. And in all of these cases, uh, many were convicted, yes, many sir. were arrested, and they were all let go. And they were let go because these local governments didn't agree with ICE policy on this. I mean, isn't the law pretty clear? And in this case, shouldn't federal law trump whatever an individual county or state wants to do in that, again, as a country, yeah. you got to have borders? You know, it's, it's an amazing thing. We're talking about California, but just last week or so in Rockville, Maryland, just outside of Washington, D.C., illegal, two illegal immigrants here in a high school, an 18 and a 19-year-old, a 17 and an 18-year-old here illegally, who had been arrested, one of them at least had been detained, were allowed back into school and they raped a 15-year-old girl in, in the high school. We cannot allow, it, it really is going to require these localities to stand up and say enough's enough. We need the police to protect us but, but from these criminals. But let's not forget the politics, and I think that's really what is at the root of all of this. I mean, you have liberal lawmakers that are campaigning for a, a, a block of the population that, that feels very sympathetic that's to right. the illegals. You and know, that's, they're, they're hopeful that they can yeah. increasingly bring you know, this, this population over to them and that they will win elections this way. I mean, isn't this why county officials are basically you know, giving the, the middle finger to the federal law? <laughs> that's right. And if you look at Donald Trump's campaign, it's one of the reasons he won was be on this very issue. It's a very emotional issue to the American people. And he won saying very straightforward things. He said, I'm going to build the wall. We are going to enforce the laws and we're going to deport these criminal illegals who are here. And by the way, uh, there's nothing country. that, uh, you know, th there's nothing that should be that upsetting about it, David. I mean, someone's right. committed a crime and they're here but in, in the California. U.S. illegally to begin with. They've then committed a crime, in many cases been convicted of a crime, and yet taxpayer dollars are wasted away paying for them to uh, continue to be in here. Anyway, David Bossi, it's well, final, final quick thought. I, yeah, I don't want to I, mean to No, cut no, you. I, I was just going to say there's between 5 and 10 percent of the population of California are on record. We, the, the records show that they are here illegally. The, the illegal immigration wow. population in California is between 2 and 3 million people, closer to 3 million that we know of that are documented. So this is an economic issue for California and for the nation. Absolutely. David, good to see you. Thank you very much.